Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are watching video in this channel, please, please do subscribe to the channel to support us and also to get the latest videos about VMware virtualization and other virtualization technologies. I'm sure most of us are excited with the release of vSphere 7.0 because vSphere 7.0 was released with a lot of new exciting features such as a vSphere support for Kubernetes so it helps us to run on containerized applications on natively on the vSphere apart from that there are a lot of new exciting features such as vSphere lifecycle manager, vCenter server profile, vCenter server update manager, a lot of improvements has been brought to content library, vMotion, DRS, a lot of things right. I'm sure that most of us are excited and we are planning to perform an upgrade of vSphere to an vSphere 7.0 in your environment. There are few things which is very important which we need to be considered and perform it before we plan for an vSphere 7.0 upgrade. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the top five things which we need to perform before we plan for on vSphere 7.0. So please, please don't skip the video, watch till the end so that you'll understand the top five things which we need to perform before vSphere 7.0 upgrade. Let's get started. The first one in the list is VMware product interruptibility. This is very important, right? So when you're running on vSphere in your environment, we are not only limited to the vSphere, right? vSphere or vCenter server. We may be running on other VMware products such as VMware NSXT, or you may be running on monitoring tools such as vRealize operation manager or if you are performing on DR you would have running on disaster recovery like VMware SRM vSphere replication other things right so it is very important before we upgrade our vSphere and vCenter server to 7.0 it, it is very important to understand the other VMware products which needs to be compatible to the version which we are planning for upgrade right for example so if you are upgrading our vSphere to v, our vSphere or vCenter server to 7.0 so we need to ensure that we are running on compatible NSXT version to compatible to run with on vCenter 7.0. So how to check this, right? Just go to Google and search for VMware product interruptibility. This is basically to understand the interruptibility between the uh, VMware products. Let's uh, select the, uh, under the select solution, select vCenter server or vSphere, select the version. In this case, it is 7.0. So let's add the... Uh, platform solutions, whichever other VMware products which we are using in our environment. For example, let me select a VMware NSXT manager, NSXT data center. So it automatically populates which version of NSXT is compatible to run with the vSphere 7.0. It shows the NSXT 3.0 is compatible to run with the 7.0. We can also select the option hide empty rows and columns so that only the compatible version will be showing up in the results. Let me search for other VMware products. Uh, this time maybe we will search for site recovery manager which helps us to automate most of our uh, disaster recovery solutions which is the product from VMware so it shows me 8.3 uh, is compatible with vSphere 7.0 this is very important because there are some products which needs to be upgraded prior to we plan for vSphere 7.0 on vCenter server upgrade. That is why this is very important to check the interruptibility of other VMware products and we ensure that we upgraded that particular products to the version which is compatible with vCenter server 7.0. So that is the reason this is the very first thing we need to plan for it, right? So these are all the products. We can select all the VMware products and understand which version is compatible to run with vSphere 7.0. So VMware, Product interruptibility is very, very important. We understand and upgrade other VMware products before we plan to perform on vSphere 7.0 upgrade. Okay. So the second thing is hardware compatibility. Imagine you are running on hardware a model which is compatible with 6.7. It may be removed from the support to run on vSphere 7.0 right so it is very important we run on compatible hardware as per the uh, vSphere release so that you know we get on proper support from a VMware as well on hardware vendor support because there are few supports which has been few hardware model uh, the support has been removed from uh, 
uh, running on vSphere 7.0, right? So it is very important we review the hardware compatibility uh, for your hardware model or whatever it is like network adapter or anything. It is very important we understand and uh, we run on compatible hardware for the based upon the vSphere 7.0. So how can we check that? We can go ahead and uh, uh, search for VMware hardware compatibility. It opens the VMware compatibility guide and we can search for the e vSphere version and we can select the hardware model or vendor and we can search for the specific hardware model as well. Let's take a look. So I selected ESXi 7.0 here. So type of the server is like rack, rack mount servers or blade server, anything. You can select the partner name. For example, I selected Dell. Okay. You can uh, select the feature list as well, or you can click on all. And you can also specify your hardware model directly. For example, let's specify R640 here and click on update and view results. It shows the hardware model like a PowerEdge R640 is compatible with 7.0 or not. So it shows 7.0 is compatible. If it is not compatible, it will not show the version here, right? So you can also uh, select the other hardware, uh, other vSphere version and it shows whether it is compatible to run with the other vSphere version as well. So it is very, very important before we plan for our upgrade of our existing environment, we need to understand the current hardware which we are running with the vSphere version is compatible to run the vSphere 7.0. Otherwise, we may be losing a support from a VMware as well your hardware vendor because we are not running on a supportable uh, vSphere version and third one is update sequence of VMware products. So when we discussed about VMware product interruptibility matrices, so it is very important uh, we upgrade the other VMware products as well before we plan for on vSphere 7.0 because there is a update sequence which was published by VMware products. So if you are using a different VMware products, it, the upgrade needs to be followed in a specific sequences to perform a successful vSphere upgrade. For example, upgrade of NSXT needs to be performed before we upgrade vCenter server. And similarly, a site recovery manager, we need to upgrade it um, before a vCenter server and a site recovery manager and vSphere replication, right? If you are using this combination, vSphere replication needs to be upgraded before the VMware site recovery manager. So for this, to get it, you can search in the Google update sequence of vSphere 7.0. There is a table which published. It shows what is the sequence we need to perform. So the first thing is VRLI and VRLS operation, VRNA, VRA. And if you are using vSphere replication, SRM, then upgrade NSXT. After all these things are upgraded, then they are recommending to upgrade the vCenter server, ESXi, VMware tools, virtual machine hardware, and a vSAN version. So for an successful vSphere upgrade, it is very, very important. We follow this update sequence and upgrade the VMware products in the sequence to complete a successful vSphere environment upgrade. So this is very important to follow the vSphere update sequence before we attempt to upgrade the vSphere 7.0. So there is a dedicated KB article which talk about this uh, update sequence of each of the vSphere version. You can also search for 6.7 and 7.0. And the fourth one is review vSphere 7 upgrade path, right? So it is very important whatever the current version, for example, someone may be running um, 6.5 or someone may be running vSphere 6.0 which they plan to upgrade to 7.0. So it is very important to understand the current version of vSphere which you are running is able to directly upgrade to 7.0, right? For example, some cases we may need to perform a multiple upgrade to upgrade to 7.0. For example, if you are running on a, a vSphere 6.0 or something, we cannot directly upgrade to 7.0, right? For example, so uh, we may need to upgrade to 6.5, then we need to upgrade to 7.0. Similarly, so it is very important we understand the upgrade path of vSphere and we follow the upgrade path. So how can we validate whether our current vSphere version is compatible to directly upgrade to vSphere 7.0 is we can search in uh, uh, 
uh, upgrade path so it is same website as like vmware product interruptibility matrix x instead of interruptibility we need to select the option called upgrade path so let's select the uh, solution here for example uh, let's type uh, vcenter server okay so it shows me that uh, what all the version can be directly upgraded for example if you are running on vcenter server 6.7 update 3 we can directly upgrade to vcenter 7.0 and similarly 6.5 update 2 and uh, can be directly upgraded to 7.0 but imagine if you are running on uh, vcenter server 6.0 update 3 we cannot directly upgrade it so we may need to upgrade to the different version and another version for example uh, so it needs to be upgraded so it needs a uh, multiple upgrade so vspr 6 does not have a direct upgrade path so it is very important we understand that uh, our the current version is having a direct upgrade path to upgrade to the vspr 7.0 or vcenter 7.0 right so it is important this because we need to plan this in advance um, for the vspr 7.0 upgrade so we can also check this for another VMware products as well. For example, I checked here for a vCenter server 7.0 version. So we can also search for vSphere version. For example, VMware vSphere. So it shows me what are the version which I'm currently running is capable to upgrade to the vSphere 7.0 with a single upgrade. So for example, if you are running 6.5 update one, we cannot directly upgrade. So we have to uh, the direct upgrade is not supported we need to understand the virtual uh, the another version which we need to upgrade the, from there we have to plan for on vspr 7.0 upgrade this is very very important because uh, without planning this or without checking this if you uh, start to upgrade we maybe end up uh, uh, you know uh, bringing a new issues to the environment and uh, breaking an existing vspr clusters uh, without understanding this upgrade path and all these things, right? So this is available for all the VMware products. So you can search for all the VMware products upgrade path. Okay. The fifth one is third party product compatibility. For example, uh, we are running on vSphere um, environment and we are not only limited to the VMware products, right? We may be, we may be using another th third party product such as a backup software or you may be using an external monitoring software or some of the security compliance monitoring software from an other third party vendors, right? So they may be supporting their uh, version for specific version of vSphere. But if you are planning to upgrade on vSphere 7.0, it is very, very important we understand that the third party product products are compatible with 7.0 for example you are using a third-party backup software which is compatible to run with 6.7 so it is ensure that we upgraded the backup software to the version which is compatible with 7.0 otherwise we may be end up losing the uh, backup for our production system right so it is very very important we understand the third-party product compatibility as well um, to before we upgrade to the vspa 7.0 so this is also very important which may be uh, we may be missing this many times but this is very important i hope this five thing is very very important before we plan to upgrade our vspa environment i recommend follow all these five without any miss to ensure the successful upgrade of your vspa environment i hope this is informative for you please please do subscribe to the channel to support us and also to get the latest videos which i am posting about vmware virtualization and other virtualization technologies please please stay safe thank you so much for watching this video do sub subscribe us and also click on the bell icon to get the latest notification of vmware video thank you so much bye bye stay safe